wish I had an energy drink, but I don't. So we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. You're probably really confused about my hair. Trust me, I am too. So this is how long I want my hair to be when I grow it out and I'm sick and tired of it being short. So I bought this wig and this is the color I always wanted my hair to be, but when I did have it this color, it was a lot of work to keep up and that's why I have a wig. Today's video, we are going to be talking about your unpopular opinion. I think it's really fun to do those videos where I go on Instagram and I ask you guys something and then I like read everything that you tell me. I've done the would you rather, this assumptions video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and get started. Basically, these are all your unpopular opinions. I'm gonna let you know if I agree or if I don't agree, etc. That I lit literally the first one I read is Doritos and mustard. I don't even want to try it. I'm not going to. I will take your word for it that it's good, but I'm assuming that it's a very acquired taste because I hate mustard anyway and Doritos aren't exactly my favorite. So if you guys want to try it, then comment down below what you think about that. Crocs are the best. Literally, I 100% agree with that. I literally have my Crocs. They're the best to just throw on anytime. There's really no place that you shouldn't be wearing Crocs and I think that they need to come back. Another thing that needs to come back is Heelys. I'm bringing them back, so go ahead and order a pair. Let's all Heely around together. Ranch is good on everything. I think that's not an unpopular opinion. I'm pretty sure like everyone thinks that. It's like unpopular to think opposite. Personally, I think ranch is pretty good on a majority of things. I don't eat it as much as I used to, but I definitely used to be obsessed with it. High key, rainy days are actually the best. I don't know. I, I kind of agree. If it's winter, then yes, because I already just want to sit inside and do nothing. If it's summer, it's kind of sad because I want to go out and do stuff, but then it gives you an excuse to not do anything and just sit in your room. I'm not going to argue. They are pretty great. Beyonce isn't all that. I'm actually going to have to agree with that. I do like her music, and obviously she's gorgeous and everything, but I do think that she and a couple of other artists like her are very overrated. I think that they're very talented, but I don't get the huge hype of them, if that makes sense. I don't know. But also some of the artists that I like, a lot of people think are overrated, like Ariana Grande, Post Malone, Bozzy. But I think that they're all really, really good and talented. So honestly, like, I can't argue with you on that. Socks on 24-7. I cannot relate. I never have socks on. As soon as I get home, I take my socks off. I love summer because I don't have to wear socks because I can wear sandals. I just don't really like socks or shoes that much, so. Pineapple on pizza. No, that is that is definitely an unpopular opinion, but I think there's a reason because it's literally disgusting. There's no reason pineapple needs to ever be on pizza. Ever. I genuinely, like, my heart just got really sad for this one. Avocados are nasty and taste like trash. I eat avocados every single day. I have avocado toast with an egg on it. I'll put avocados in pretty much everything that I eat. I'm obsessed with avocados. And if you don't like them, that is just a shame because they are really good for you and they taste good and you can eat them with everything. So you just really need to reevaluate and change your taste buds because avocados are amazing. Someone said Riverdale is stupid. I am going to have to disagree with this one. I know the show is super hyped up and some people might even say it's overrated. But there's a reason that it's so hyped up because it's so good. First of all, Cole Sprouse is in it, so it really doesn't get much better than that. And then all the other characters are also very attractive. Has so many plot twists, you never know what's gonna happen. It's just such a good show. The Kardashians really aren't all that. I'm gonna have to agree on this one, but I feel like that's not that much of an unpopular opinion because everyone on Twitter is always like, oh, they got famous for nothing. Just, I don't know, I don't keep up with them. I don't follow any of them. I don't really care. Um, yeah. They don't affect me, so I don't really care. Okay, this one's really interesting. Someone said putting yourself over others is not the right thing to do. I actually kind of agree with this. I do think it's important to like work on self-care, self-love, all about yourself. But if you put others first and you're like helping other people, then in turn it's going to help yourself. Because if you're constantly serving other people, then it's just going to make you happier and a better person overall. I hate the like mentality that everyone has where it's like cut out toxic people. You don't have to cut someone out of their life just because they're not being good to you. You can fade from them. You don't have to like have this huge like drama shouldn't ever be a thing. So much drama goes on just because you think that you're the only person in the world. But if you think about other people, then there's less drama. Yeah. 
not even a vegetarian or anything, but bacon and steak are gross. I literally agree with this so much. I will eat steak and bacon, but I, I don't think they're absolutely disgusting, but they're definitely not my favorite. Steak, every time I eat steak, I just don't understand. Like, you chew it forever, and then it like doesn't even taste that good. You have to like dip it in sauce, and I don't like any of the sauce that you're supposed to dip it in. So I don't really like steak. And then bacon is like good sometimes, but I always just feel like trash after I eat it. So I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Steak and bacon are not it. Not a huge ice cream fan. I'd rather have a smooth smoothie or slushy. I 100% agree with this. I definitely like will eat ice cream and I just ate a bunch of it while I was in New York, but it's definitely not my favorite. Like honestly, I just don't really like desserts that much. I'll eat them, but then I like regret it right after because it wasn't even that good. But I never really like crave it. I'd much rather have like they said a smoothie or a slushy. Checkered vans are overrated. That is so false. Like, checkered vans, one, they match everything. Two, they're slip-on, so they're super easy to put on. Three, they're very comfortable. I just like, I get that it's like annoying and like basic to have them or whatever, but there's a reason everyone has them because they're so great. And that's the thing about most things that are like super basic or whatever. There's a reason they're so popular because everyone likes them. What's not to like about them? Coke isn't good. I don't know what Coke we're talking about, but I don't like Coca-Cola that much. Like, I'll drink it sometimes, and I don't think it's that good either. I'm more of, like, a Mountain Dew, root beer, Sprite type of gal. If we're talking about cocaine, I never tried it, so. I don't really like energy drinks. Okay, energy drinks are really where it's at. Like, I'm sorry. I get that they're not good for you or whatever, but there's so many things that aren't good for you that everyone needs anyway. I love energy drinks. I really wish that I would have drank one right before I filmed this video because I'm not that hype. I feel way more myself when I drink energy drinks. I just love being hyper, and when I'm not hyper, I'm just like, ugh, what am I doing, you know? Chipotle is horrible. Here's the thing. I don't like Chipotle because I'm a Qdoba fan. I thrive off Qdoba. Their queso is absolutely amazing and it's not extra for guac. Chipotle, for some reason, everything I eat there has this weird spice to it and I don't like it. And then they don't have queso, so the burrito isn't even good. Guac cost extra, so count me out on Chipotle. I won't be there. Halo Top is not good. Oh, we were just talking about ice cream, but like, I, I get where you're coming from. It's a little bit more of an acquired taste, but like once I start eating Halo Top, I can't stop. Like I think it's so good and it's not as sweet and I don't really like the super sweet stuff. So it's like perfect for me. Oreos with peanut butter is good. Oh my gosh, I think I just threw up in my mouth. I don't know if you guys remember from my Would You Rather video. Peanut butter <laughs> literally, made, <coughs> literally makes me gag. I don't like it. And Oreos, I only like the middle because I don't like chocolate. So that's just is one big, terrible combination that doesn't need to exist. LaCroix is the best. No. But no, 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 no. There's nothing good about LaCroix. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good one. Someone said, you can't ever be just friends with guys. Someone always catches feelings. I feel like for like, I'd say like, 75% that's true. I actually had this conversation with a friend the other day. I think about friends that I have that are guys and I'm like, oh yeah, I can be friends with them and not catch feelings. But then I'm like, oh wait, they liked me. So like one person always likes the other one, even if you are just friends. So it's like, ugh, kind of true. But also it's definitely possible to not catch feelings. So it goes both ways. Twitter is A1. I 100% agree with this. Twitter is my favorite app. I'm literally on Twitter all the time. I'm always DMing my friends' tweets. I don't really tweet that much. I feel like I'm not funny enough for it. Maybe I should tweet more. I don't know. You guys can follow my Twitter if you want. It's just Sid McGee underscore. Twitter is where I get all my memes. It's where I laugh. It's where I'm the happiest. I just... Like, if you're not into Twitter, I just don't think we could be friends. Like... You just have to understand all the humor and it's all from Twitter. Snapchat streaks are stupid. Yes, thank you for saying that. I hate snap streaks. I've never really understood them. The longest one I ever had was like 275 days and that was because me and that person literally talk to each other every day and I don't really text people, I just Snapchat them. So like if we're genuinely talking every day and we accidentally have a streak, then that's great. But like if we have to send streaks, it's really not worth it. I don't get it. When I was in high school, I had people Snapchatting me streaks every morning, every day, and I would never reply and they'd still send it. I'm like, and like they wouldn't even talk to me in person, like literally just send me Snap streaks. And that was it. And I was like, what is the reasoning? Gum is disgusting. Okay, this is like a fun fact that like no one knows about me. It's literally disgusting. I hate when people chew gum around me. I hate like, mm, it just bothers me. I don't know why, just everything about it is gross. So I'm glad that other people agree with me on that one. Hot dogs are disgusting. 
I agree. I've never liked hot dogs. I always get the hamburger at Grill Outs. I, like, literally think about what they're made of. That's disgusting. And then they just taste disgusting. Also, there's really no purpose for them. We should just ban them. The world is flat. All I'm saying, if the world is round, then why do I sleep like this? It's just facts. Okay, well that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me do more like Instagram interactive videos, let me know. Like this video so I know that you guys like these kind of videos. I personally love them, so I hope you do too. Subscribe if you're new. My social media is down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey.